Okay, I fixed my video, it kept shooting off. Um, so this is a uh, windy day by normal standards, between 30 and 40 km an hour. Uh, so I'll just show you that. I'll just go over to the wing gauge. That's the wing gauge. It's the good wind speed, 8.4. So that's not actually the tower height, that's at uh, 6 metres, 9.6. Turn it back over to you again. See what's going on. So I see some good ghosts come through. I've seen 900 just a moment ago. I'm going to just let it run and we'll listen to it. So, what you've got to watch for this is the, uh, the mains voltage, which is 241. This is okay for quite low. On a sunny day, I can go right up to 250 because there's lots of solar on this subdivision where I am. And the more solar they add, the higher the voltage goes, and the grid just doesn't back off, it just keeps going up. So we're going to be careful. If these, so this reach, this box reaches 256 volts, it'll turn off and put all the everything into my double load resistance. So I've got to make sure that this unit doesn't see that voltage by keeping the wires that go from the shed to the house as short as possible and as, and if, as if, if as a as efficient as possible as well. Here we got a big wind that's going through just here. So you can see the voltage this side is keeping it down it's a 20 volt turbine. So I'm trying to keep it as close as possible to well, 20 whole volts really. When it's 40, that's when gets a lot of load in the inverters which has to sort of struggle a little bit to try and keep up with it. But um, to compensate for that, I've got my braking resistors, this guy over here. It's not a big one, it's just a small one just to help and assist. But if it gets too high, then this other circuit kicks in. You can see it's not actually glimmering at all. See that bit of red coming up? That means it's just clipping. The voltage is going up towards the braking voltage. So, what I'm doing today is testing that the braking voltage is not too high. When I say high, it means I don't want the braking voltage, the brakes, to come on too soon. I want it to let the turbine spin up to its maximum potential before it simply decides that the inverter can't keep on. Just keep it running for a bit longer. So we go. So I can show you the, uh, the braking effect. I'll just turn the brake up and we'll see what happens. So it's on, currently it's on three. So I'm going to turn the brake up and see what happens. So the light comes on. Quite significant. We'll go over here. So the full brake's on uh, as far as dynamic goes. I'm not getting up to 40. That's what there is. I'll take the brake, back the brake back off again. That's the brake back to normal. That's pretty good fast. There's a tiny thing piece of brakes. Obviously, it's too high, so I'll turn the brake on. Still not enough to slow it down. That's quite a big gust. Okay, so I'm going to slam the brakes on full. So I've got full brakes. I've got these resistors are on, this one's on. Um, so we need to get it back online if we can. To do that, I'll yeah, be unplug it. Couldn't be caught that. That's a really interesting. Test I was doing today. So unplug it, plug it back in again. No voltage too high. So listen to the wind. So now it's not too bad. So now I can just energize it quickly, and then it comes back on again. So it's nicely doing anything yet. That's all the braking resistors are slowing it down now. So it should now kick in and start taking some juice. There we go.
shows you even with the full brakes on it was still hitting 76 volts so I need more brakes back this up I'm gonna move it to setting four now so we're gonna sit on 1,200 too high okay let's go for higher let's go to six so now that's holding it at 45 47 okay that looks good so i'm going to do the same thing again reset it you always got to put the brake on otherwise when you plug it back in again let's see the voltage straight away so now i've done got the brake on there's no voltage coming to the inverter so now it's looking good so i'll check the little it's actually energized, it's not energized just yet. I have to wait for it to click into operation. It's on now, so I'll just put it back up and it's in. You see how long it takes to just energize and start drawing all the power down. So now we're on setting number six instead of three. Should hopefully control those gusts. That's what today's for. It's my day to actually tune this system up to optimum. We saw some good ones there. Good power. And here's another blast coming through. This is this is a 1000 watt turbine from BNC. And you can see it just churns out the power. Keeping it down so as low as we can, we've got to control that voltage. As soon as that voltage gets up towards 50, the inverter will kick off at 60. So you've got to keep it below 60 at all costs. So actually, we slow the damn thing down. There we go again, we're still trying to push up back. We're doing good today, this is a really good uh, demonstration of the power. Hopefully, it shouldn't uh, trip anymore now. It's always a trip. Just listen to it again. The question is, do it have the braking is actually on? You look over here. See the light is blinking. The only way to tell they're actually on is to measure the voltage. Because that light comes on before these two. See, they've got a thousand watts coming in. That's pretty good. I'm always tempted to reduce the load, uh, but it usually ends bad. So, so I'm just going to feel my resistors. Let's, dump load's quite warm, but the braking resistors are quite hot. Uh, I've got three of those. It's, there's one over there in the corner. That's actually gold, the corner. it's not red, it's hot. There's one up on the roof. And there's one up there on that side. So keep them as far away as possible. And we're all good. So I'll just uh, go back to the uh, weather station. See what's going on there. This is 8.5 gusting. It's gusting 10.2. There was a gust of 12.2, 9 .2 meters per second. I'll just go back over. Another gust coming through. bit of hands free uh, my poles. Well, I'm back again whilst I was just doing my test it tripped again so now we're up to level 8. It was just tripping at 40 volts but a gust came through and it just flicked over the voltage so 
I think I really need to increase these uh, load resistors to oh, I say increase. Increase the load which means reduce the value. So I'll probably put I've got some more resistors on the holes that were I'll probably put those on as well. So I've got another three resistors I can put in parallel with these. Uh, so I'll probably stick those on at my first opportunity to stop this happening and then I can back off this lever a little bit more. But it's obviously it's not enough to break it for the strong gusty winds. Hmm, my wind has just died. <laughs> okay guys, uh, that's about it for today. We'll see how we go on later. So, so yeah, just today out here in, uh, in Victoria. I'll see if we can let you go up. Some really high boats. Probably the end of the storm. It was a two hour window and I got to the back of